It is a version of Shakespeare like you have never seen or heard before. That's a clip from the Tony-nominated Broadway show and Juliet. It's a reimagining of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet flipping the script on the tragic love story. The audience is treated to the story of what would have happened next if Juliet had not ended it all over Romeo and got a second chance at life and love on her terms. The show pulsates with a sizzling soundtrack featuring some of the biggest pop songs from the 90s to today, including hit tunes from Katy Perry, Ariana Grande, Britney Spears, the Backstreet Boys, and many more. And joining us now are two of the show's stars, Lorna Courtney and Betsy Wolf. Lorna, Lorna, you were uh, here in early February, and there was a lot of Tony buzz surrounding you and the show at the time. So fast forward to this morning. You and Betsy are both nominated for Tony Awards in all. The show is nominated for nine Tonys. This is amazing. And Betsy, it's your birthday. Oh, thank you. It is my birthday. This is exactly how I wanted to spend it. And for you, I give you a Tony. No, um, this you. is amazing. I, I, I would. It just seems like such a powerful uh, uh, production. Is it? Um, tell us what each day is like, Betsy. I'll start with you since it's your birthday. Um, <laughs> playing your characters and and working on this production. Is it exhausting? Is it exhilarating? How do you get the energy up time and time again? What's it like for you? Honestly, it, it is all the things you said. It's exhausting, it's exhilarating. Um, but what always grounds us is the story. It is such an incredible story told with heart, with wit. It's funny, it's joyous, and um, it's just the story that I want to be telling right now. And I know, and obviously by audiences' reactions, they go nuts. It's clearly the story that they oh. all want to be seeing. So it's really, really a joyous time. So, Lorna, congratulations so on, on cool. the nomination. <laughs> uh, so, you. talk to you up on stage. You're obviously singing these songs everybody knows. The audience is on its feet night after night singing along. This sounds like a simple question, but how much fun is it to be up there? <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so much fun. And e even if we're, like, tired because, you know, it's Tony season, so we're doing a lot, you cannot not have fun in right. this show. Like, it's just... Like, as Betsy was saying, it's so much fun. And even people that think that they don't know the songs, they actually know the songs because the songs are just everywhere. And you, you have a, a great time, and you end up leaving changed and, and moved in some way because not only is it fun, but it's, it's a moving story, a story about second chances and love, multi-generational love, love, friendships, relationships. So it's, it's very relatable. So, Betsy, happy birthday, by the way. <laughs> wow, uh, love, thank you. Listen, we, saw, we saw the clip from the play, uh -huh. okay? Romeo and Juliet. How does that happen out of Romeo and Juliet? And tell us, mm -hmm. if you can, both of you, your instincts of how it happened and what happens in your story as opposed to Romeo and Juliet. So I think this is what is so hard to explain about this musical, too, is they think, well, wait, you're taking these pop songs, the most famous pop songs, you know, William Shakespeare's most famous play, and yet somehow it all works. So we basically flip the script. Um, I play Anne Hathaway, who gets to come in, William Shakespeare's wife, who's just there at the theater that night um, and kind of surprises him and like, I'm just here, sweetheart, to like watch the show. And um, from there, <laughs> she says, I think I have some thoughts. And I think that that's where the, just the real comedy comes in of, mm -hmm. of this idea of like, what if? What if we could all have a second chance? What if we chose the bold choice? What if and Julia so, doesn't die? What if she doesn't die? And um, and it's it's empowering. It's funny. I think that's the other thing that shocks people. It's hysterical. Mm -hmm. And Laura, what do you think? I think exactly that. I think it's it's empowering. It's uplifting. It's uplifting. It's from it's very like female uh, and empowered and 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 moving. And after the show, I have so many like young girls just just looking up at me with bright eyes and 
and and their moms and and they're they're just so overwhelmed and, and overcome like with with joy and the spirit of the show. So I'm glad that we can make an impact in that way. Mm. That is so wonderful. Uh, you guys just keep on enjoying it. And Juliet is playing now on Broadway at the Stephen Sondheim Theater. Lorna Courtney and Betsy Wolf, congratulations to you both. Thank you both Thank very you. much. And best of luck. <laughs> Let's get that Tony. All right, that does it. For <laughs> yes.